Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Miss Linda C. Jones. And before you sits my amazing nephew, Ryan Curtis Baker. Good morning um, to our health talk discussion today. Today, Ryan and I would like to discuss with you our experience on the powerful effects of vitamin C. You guessed it, folks. What is it, Ryan? Vitamin C. Okay, so um, we both have to um, just give you a little bit of a disclaimer. Ryan and I are not health care professionals. We highly recommend that you do your own research. However, we'd like to share some of our research as well as our um, personal experiences with vitamin C. So I could talk for days about this, but I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to Ryan first, and he's going to share a little bit with you about vitamin C. And this will be part one. Um, as time goes by, we will continue discussing the powerful effects of vitamin C. Ryan? So nothing very um, specific here. We're just talking about vitamin C, what we, what I've learned and what my aunt has learned from it, personal experience. Um, a little bit of the science behind it, vitamin C, uh, also called, I believe it's called ascorbic acid. Have you read it? Like, ascorbic, yes. if that's how you pronounce it. Um, another thing about doing research when I read online, I never really actually watch YouTube videos. I'm always reading articles. So when I read a word, However I read it, that's going to be stuck in my head. So ascorbic, I believe that's how, how it's pronounced. Um, vitamin C is fat soluble. So what happens is, goes your body like vitamin E. Um, it stores into I think it's the fat cells in your body, um, easily stored in your body. Your body stores about one to two grams of vitamin C, which means, so this right here, if we can get the, uh, where's the bottle? Oh, it's right there on the oh. table. So, but I don't know if we can show it because of the brand... No. If we're allowed to, okay. You're fine. You're not uh, being endorsed by them or anything. If you're being endorsed, then yeah, you would want to show it, but there's no copyright here. If anything, we're giving them free advertisement. So okay. This is just a simple the vitamin shop. Um, there's thousands of different brands of vitamin C. Vitamin C is fairly cheap for what it can do for you. The uh, serving size is one tablet, and one tablet is 1,000 milligrams, which is one gram. So on average, your average human being... I'm not sure what the weight and the height and all that is, but uh, the study that I read was your body can store about two grams in your body already. So it, it holds on to two grams, two to three grams of vitamin C. Basically, whenever your body needs vitamin C, it uses that storage, and uh, fat soluble storage. About, I think it's orange juice or, you know, you're 100% the government's um, daily, recommended. Daily, daily recommendation is about... 100 milligrams, which is about, you know, a tenth of one of these or a 20th of your daily storage to your body's constantly using. Now, if you work out or you have high stress, um, let's say something like for me, I was at Voodoo yesterday, which is probably why I woke up today and I'm feeling a little, a little groggy. For our viewing audience that doesn't know what vo the Voodoo Fest oh, yeah. is. Voodoo Festival is just a basically uh, out at City Park, big old park down. Uh, it's in downtown New Orleans? Or? Uh, mid, mid city, mid city, big New old Orleans, park. Louisiana. And it's just a festival and everybody gets out there and it's about $200 for the ticket, but it's well worth it. It's just like 100,000 people come out and it's basically politics, religion, nothing matters. Everybody's out there just for the, for the, for the music. Amen. And then you come back and, you know, you, you continue on with your life, which is why today for voodoo, <laughs> we're talking about, you know, woke up and why am I feeling so uh, just not myself? It's because in the sun all day, um, humidity, you're on your feet all day. So your body's using that storage. So I'll probably, I'm probably low on vitamin C. My vitamin C storage has been depleted. So basically take two vitamin C capsules. It'll re um, uh, restore it. On top of that. Before I leave again, so I'm gonna eat these for breakfast. Before I leave again, take two more, right? So with food, with food. So what happens is, if I'm already low, you don't. It's like hydration. If you're dehydrated, you don't want to just drink a glass of water, right? You want to not only rehydrate yourself, but then drink more to help your body detox. Because if you if you don't have enough water in your body, your body's gonna grab that water and store it, but it doesn't have enough to actually urinate. So it's kind of like. Same thing with vitamin C. You take vitamin C if you uh, depleted, take some to restore it, and then you need to take some more so your body can actually use it. Absolutely. And um, 
Brian, what would you say to our viewing audience in terms of uh, the most positive effect that you've noticed from taking vitamin C? Uh, vitamin C, after doing the research, you don't realize it until you do the research and then you start to notice that vitamin C can actually enhance other herbs, other vitamins. Uh, for example, I was taking garlic before I started taking vitamin C. Vitamin C, I don't have my multivitamin, watch, I have my multivitamin actually in my uh, suitcase, staying with my Aunt Linda for the weekend. Yay, I'm so happy. And uh, multivitamin can already have vitamin C in it, but you can take a little bit more. And I noticed that after doing the research, I was taking garlic. Garlic can help with, there's just a massive amount of benefits. But for the one that I was taking for was um, vascularity, helping uh, lower your blood pressure. So when you work out, Oxygen can move to your muscles more. Um, you don't get as fatigued in the gym. Well, when you take vitamin C, it enhances garlic supplements. Or if you can usually you can just eat a garlic bowl, but your breath's gonna smell. So I just pop in a capsule of garlic. And I notice when I take garlic with vitamin C, it's like my veins are just bulging out of my skin, and all the way up into the point. But I'm like even laying down after a shower, I'll take a cold shower, go to sleep. My veins are still coming out. And the only other time that I can get my veins to do that. Is if I'm hot, let's say I'm out in the sun, my veins will surface to cool me down, trying to, uh, you know, um, flow water through your body. And when I take garlic with vitamin C, my veins will bulge, but it's natural and it's healthy. So I don't feel hot when I'm going to sleep. The only time that my veins will bulge is if I'm hot. So I like taking vitamin C to enhance other supplements. Well, I've been recommending vitamin C for years. And as I had shared with you and mentioned a little bit in a previous health video, I've worked with children, you know, for many, many years as a music educator and other forms of education in the elementary education um, department, so to speak. And most educators will be the first to tell you, Ryan, that, um, you know, your immune system can go down when you're exposed to lots of people in crowded places Almost or when, anything. yeah, just, or, or children who, who, can get sick easily. But anyway, long story short, a dear friend of mine and I years ago did some research and bottom line, what we found is that with any health ailment that you can possibly have, there are tons of supplements that you can take that will help. But for any, I mean, any health ailment, and I recommend everyone do the research, vitamin C is at the top of the list in terms of what we need. And we all have to just discover ourselves how much it is that we need. Working with children, I was finding that I was always getting sick. Colds, upper respiratory infections, flu, you name it. And so now I, I personally take 4,000 milligrams per day with food, with other vitamin supplements. And I will get a bug, as I would say, normally, you know, and then sometimes when something's going around, I won't even get it where before, if anything was going around, I was always sick. So it's great for collagen restoration. It is great to keep your immune system up. And I recommend highly that everyone do their research about the powerful effects of vitamin C. Ryan and I are going to sign off now, but we will be checking back in with you in the weeks to come about more research on vitamin C. Um, thank you for tuning in, and I would ask that you like and subscribe and share and comment to my channel and check out Ryan's channel, Ryan Curtis Baker. And I think Ryan has one some final say, words. One more thing. I just popped in my head. I also want to say that, of course, for anybody who is new to supplements or if you've been in the supplement game or you know you've been researching it um it's an arguable subject i yes. guess you know to say that something is better than supplements or something supplements is better than this so if it's hard for you to eat you know wake up and eat an orange every day because eating an orange i if i were to you know take the amount of vitamin c from an orange and then calculate how much vitamin c you'd get from that and then how much vitamin C you get from this, you know, what the cost is, whether would this would be cheaper or eating an orange day would be cheaper. I haven't done the math. I would say probably taking supplements is way cheaper from my experience, especially a multivitamin. But if you ever, let me get the orange juice. <laughs>
No, something like, how much time do you have left on the video? It may run out soon. Okay. It's about to run out. Okay, long story short, taking, getting it naturally. So eating an orange is, is way better for your body. It's more bioavailable. Your body absorbs it better than taking something that's been concentrated.